How's it going everybody? It's Ed here, back at it again with LA Noir. Last episode, we ended up here, and I ended up getting, uh, all of my accusations. Well, not all of them. I got, like, three, not accusations, but you know what I mean. The fucking, the thing, now we've got Bobby Ross, the friend of ours, Tarleton Alibi for Night of Murder. Okay. Uh, clues. Victims, handbag, muddy boots, we got all that stuff. I ended up having to do that over again because it loaded the game, and I ended up getting two correct. I got less experience, though. Don't know how that happened, but we're gonna ignore it. What are we doing? Help, what's happening? Are we going to Bobby Ross? Appreciate your time, sir. No, we're going to, um... We're going to, to, to the bar. So let's go to the bar. Let's talk, let's we're ask around the there. And where exactly are we going? We're not done with the Tarleton residence. Fuck me. We're not done with the Tarleton residence. Are you kidding me? What more left do we have to do? Did I miss anything? Because I remember... I missed... Coming back, I did miss some stuff. Ladies, do you know anything? I want to go find Mommy now. Sweetheart, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't, do, do you want your mama to just, like, come out of the ground? Like, what do you want? You want her to pop up like a, like a, like a, a, a plant? I'm confused. Alright, there's nothing out here. The dog, it's, the, the, the dog house is still there. Hey, what's that? Excuse, excuse me? Lars was Ooh. out in the rain last night. What jacket? Alright, new clue. Okay, are we done now? I mean, we've searched everywhere. We got the basement. The basement? We got the bedroom. New Testament. What the fuck? Hello. Doesn't tell me anything. Really? Is that a brooch? I don't know. I don't even fucking know what a brooch is, honestly. Let's be honest, boys. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck a brooch is. Hello. Nothing, really? I mean, I can't really go through the closet. That's a bit personal. I've looked at everything over here. We've got to be done with literally everything. We missed like one clue, but that was about it. I mean, we talked to him. You can't really interrogate the girls, can you? They're a bit too young. Easy. Oh, fuck off. I like your briefcase. You know the way. You can drive. We're still not done with the Tarleton residence. Where are we headed? Maybe that just... No, because when you're done with it... Because look, when you're done with it... It, it scratches out, which means you don't need to go back there, which means you've done everything in that area that you can do, and you don't need to do anything anymore. Ah, see? What's this? Hey, look. Like rope. Match with the ligature marks. Bow rope. Sounds like the Terrelson Prod had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. See? See, I told you. I told you, boys. What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? He shouldn't smoke. Smoking's wrong. Can I hit him? The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. Advice? Can you drive <laughs> I don't this know what, what just happened. Where exactly are we going? <laughs> what, what, what? We're going to the bar. Why did he bring up Santa Claus? Why was I about to fight that guy for smoking? At least he put a cigarette out. I can't say anything. That was weird. <laughs> okay, so we got everything there. So we got a little bit more proof. He's got the rope. So, I mean, maybe he was just out fiddling with his boat late at night. Oh, shit. Baron's Bar, 1.06 p.m. That's right, I saw that. I think I might have gotten that wrong. I don't know. Gents, drink? Hello? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. <gasps> There's a plane flying! Did you see that? That's so cool! you freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter Did he said he was out. If you okay. don't mind, we have a few questions. Yeah, how do you uh, up there? How do you get that plane to work? How did what? Uh, what magic? What magic is that? Where is it? There it is. How'd you do that? <laughs> Can you imagine? Just a fucking like professional ass detective come in and you go, Yo, that plane, that plane, like rad as fuck, my dude. How'd you do that? All right, uh, last contact what with the victim. Did Teresa leave uh, around uh, ten thirty, I think. I've learned something in this game. You can't trust a single thing that these people say if they look away from you for even half a second. 
if his eyes divert from me for at least a millisecond, he's lying. But he's not he's not looking away. On foot in a So he has to be telling bus? the truth. How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Fair enough. What's the number? Why can't you just fucking point? Ryan, you guys, Manhattan? 3591. Should be traceable. Teresa. Oh, it's right down there. Okay. Do you want to know anything else, or. Okay. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums Rusty, in here. Rusty, what are you doing? But nothing to fit that description. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Why are you lying, Benny? Why won't you help us out? You're crazy, pal. You can prove I know who she left with. Look at his face. He's like, mm, you can't prove anything. Uh, never mind. Nothing then personal. I can doubt it. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Then I can prove. I can say that I doubt it. The likelihood is Fuck that whoever you. she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. Stop I'm raising your voice. Don't make a scene. Over. Promising to take her dancing. Did Her husband didn't do guys? anything about this? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? Hmm. The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. All right. Yellow Any cap. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. That's a doubt. Hold on. He's hold on. You really didn't? Are you serious? You really didn't get that? The husband said she wanted oh, to go dancing. Oh thank God. Yeah, she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help. Wow, I can't believe I actually got that. Why do all these cases start off so well and then they end off so badly? This is Bates. Look at that guy's Tim. fucking jaw. LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. Can't let this Well, when you shout away. LAPD like that, it, it spokes them down like birds. You're not supposed to yell at them like that. It's gonna freak them out. Rusty, I'm not gonna lie to you, my friend. I gotta reward you for that jump you just made. Get out of the way. Why'd you get out your car? Oh, no, you fucking don't. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did he actually just get away? Is that why he got out of his car? What was I expecting to do? Jump on the back? <laughs> this isn't a Mission Impossible movie. Why are we in his uh, car? Me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. I don't know where he went. Did he go this way? All right, she's fine. She's not dead. It's okay. I don't know where he went. At least. Okay, he escaped. I'm still driving you, at least. Did I ru did I run someone over? I don't even know if I did. <laughs> God damn it, get after him, Cole. Oh look, we're we're now we're, everything's I'm all like you're gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull with his corner. Ah <laughs> like how he keeps cutting him off. I thought that was just like a one time thing, but I guess not. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Oh, but he, when he, he hits people, he doesn't murder them. But I'm responsible for every Listen, person that I hit in this game. Okay, killer. I see how it is. Don't shoot a gun near a fucking gas station, Rusty. Are you Stop crazy? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Rusty, fuck's sake. We almost died. Holy shit. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We already shot out one of his tires. I just have to hit him again. I'll fish tell the bastard. Aya! Alright, he did. Right. He did. Alright, you got me. I've had enough. Fucking anybody would have enough after you. Jesus Christ. Are you alright? Show me your hands. How did that happen? <laughs> Cole's like, yeah, I don't I don't know how to get to him either. I'll figure it out for you. You're gonna answer some questions. <laughs> I have a oh shit, there's cars on the road. It's called a street. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. I like how this the immediately just came up. back together. Hi, Rusty. What that. is that you're holding? She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Excuse me. Excuse me. Biff from uh, Back to the Future. Do you fucking mind? 
<laughs> helping us out here. Why are you just fucking? You're not even paying attention. I don't even. I hold, I need like five minutes. We need to calm down, cause you literally just overturned in the middle of a fucking street, and Rusty almost blew us all up. I don't think you're remotely paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Do you want my partner to sap Fuck you? Fuck yeah. Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Sap. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like you're salty. Had the same idea. Our kind of movements. So Look at this fucking guy. Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. That's a dirty lie again. Why do you keep shaking your head like that? You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look. Jesus, Rich, you're a fucking weirdo, aren't you? He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. Okay. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Where did he come from? Richard here knows the drill. I'm pretty sure he just told him why he was getting arrested and I didn't even listen. I don't know what's happening. What the fuck? Who was Richard? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Richard was one of the people. And Richard was one of the was one of the two people who was talking to to Teresa. That the second person was the sailor. Uh we don't know who the sailor is. They just know that he was in a sailor outfit. And Richard was one of them. We tried to get Richard, you know, to figure out what he knows. And, uh, stop yelling at me. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this nonsense. Quentin's the victim, yeah. So he was one of the people. I think he tried to put, a, put it in her. I don't think it worked. I don't fucking know what's happening anymore. That whole thing just threw me off completely. I don't know about you, but that threw me entirely off. <laughs> having to chase him and we almost died. Oh boy. Putting you through now. Alright. I like how he switches it up every now and again. He's like, I don't feel like saying 1247. Alright. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Thank you, madam. Reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue. We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. There was a fight? All right, cheap shot, cheap shot. Thank you. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message Make sure the phone doesn't cut off. James Jessup, okay. U.S. Navy able seaman. All right. Could be our man. Could be our man. Let's go talk to James Jessup then. To Central Police Station. I like how I don't drive anymore because I can't. Let's be honest with ourselves. I need to go over Central Police though. Station. Fine. Where are we headed? Okay. So now that we talked. To... <laughs> don't don't kill Rusty. All right. So now we talk to James. Ask him what he knows. See if he had anything to do with this. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he did. I have no idea. Central Police Station, 1.36 p.m. It's been half an hour. Yo, who is that dude, yo? I hear him all the time in Fallout 4, and he's an so too. loud. Interview Thanks. 2. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble, and knows it. Gotcha. All right, then. So, hold on. He, maybe he could be in trouble. Hold on, there's an interview room 2 up here. He ran the light on Is it? Ha ha! I'm a smart man! That means you're an Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't oh, want any slap trouble. You. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Yeah, let's, 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 hold on. Okay. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Well, okay, so you're lying. I can't... No one tells the truth anymore. Who? What? Why? I almost hit truth for a second. 
You're lying to me, Jessup. I think you weren't having much luck, and you decided to take it out on Mrs. Terrelson. That's not true. What makes you think I wanted to hurt her? Um... Victim's handbag, a wet jacket, boot prints, never mind. Like I made a mistake. I don't know. I say, I check if they're lying first to see if there's anything that I could go off of, and if there's not, then I do this. So you tried to Fuck make a you. woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the crystal ballroom. Okay, at least we only have two. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. We did take a look at him for this. And uh, let me tell you, it was a certain... I, I don't have... Apparently, according to my book, I've got nothing to go off of. He's pointing the finger Fuck directly you. at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Honestly, we're holding you till we can All right. clear this. Sorry, I was driver. telling my phone to shut up. It shut up, so yeah, we're good. CEO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Okay. So he wanted a sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset, and it looks like the bow has a record too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. We got him. We got the bow looking bastard. We're gonna go get him now. I hope my fucking recording, not recording audio, didn't shit his exactly pants. The hobo camp again. Wherever he could be, I'm not sure. How did I? Well, no, because based off of my. Uh, true. Go ahead. The taxi. Patrol reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Plenty of time to get downtown. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. 11K, roger. Nice. Alright, so that's him gone. I thought it was about the taxi, goddammit. Do we even need- well, no, I mean, maybe we can ask the taxi driver. Who knows? Hobo camp, 1.47 p.m. It's been- gee, he's got a shotgun. It's been 10 minutes. 36, 47. Yeah, it's been about like 11 minutes so far. He's not disfigured. He looks fine. That's mean. LAPD. We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six Excuse me? He's got an axe. Oh, 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 okay, okay. murder. We need to fight for it. I don't, what's happening? You punched my hat off. I help me. What's going on? There's too much moving about. How do you punch again? He forgot how to play. He's dead. Jesus Christ, yo, I have no clue what's going on. Why? Why did you... Okay, why, but why did you what's shoot him? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Yeah, he is seriously one of he he I would probably put him under the one of the people who murdered him. This case is going a hundred miles an hour and then it's going like oh I have my hat back Everyone's on Everyone's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. It's going a hundred Hey look! Missing morphine. Cops say goons fighting for goons fighting dope war. Okay. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the lighthouse club in Santa Monica. Hey. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Sir. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. 
There's only one person in my life who I've met that was a guy that was named Courtney, and that was when I was in what class in college, in my psychology class. Other than that, I never met you anybody have else. To do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. That's good. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts. And they Morphine? Can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. It's weird how, like... Because everything is based off of facial recognition, everything, the body sort of, in the game sort of has to like, deal with the face moving around a lot, so sometimes it won't necessarily work all that well. Oh, he's got a, ooh, that's not looking good. Looks familiar. Safe that's not. Match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. That's not looking good. I like how someone got shot and we went through an entire war and some homo was just like, eh, I mean, look, I gotta go back to play my, my harmonica. Change. Are those two T's? Oh, it's change, look. What's that? What's it say? Acting Crystal? Like hey! Dancer. Crystal Ballroom. That's where they went. So he must have found her on her way back from the crystal ballroom then. Are we done? I don't think there's anything else. I think we're done. I don't need this. Alright, what else do we have? What now? Reese's trail leads right to his cabin's back seat, folks. We need to find him. Oh, we're, okay, we're not done. Never mind. Okay. Alright. Do you think we need to go all the way to the back? Maybe we'll find something. I come, let me just like fucking hauled ass back here. Do you think there's something in the bushes? No. There's something in his like little shack that we're not, that we're not like seeing here. So we're not 100% done. There's someone we're not looking. Do I gotta like step over stuff? I saw the newspaper. There's a duffel bag. Oh no, he picks the uh, he picks the purse up right away. Okay. Picture. I don't think so. Nothing. He was in the war apparently. Nothing. Are you sure? Hold on, is that something? That looks like a bone. Nothing? We're missing something in this guy's shack. I have a feeling. I'm also not talking about that whole morphine thing because I'm not 100% sure what's going on, so I don't want to say anything to sound stupid. We're missing something. We got the braid. So we already know about that. I'm a butt. 
There's nothing under his bed? Nothing? Would you shut up with that harmonica? Not from what I can tell, we're, we're not... Hello? What's that up there? Should I be worried about that up there or no? Maybe that's just, I don't know, maybe that's just the thing, never mind. Any ideas? Teresa's trail leads right to this cabin's back seat, Phelps. We need to find it. Oh, the cabbie. The cabbie. I don't understand why when I, when I heard cabbie, my brain went to, that's a term for a hobo. So, we need to look for the You're cabbie. The wheel. Okay, Central Police Fine. Station. Where Fuck me, I'm stupid. <laughs> so, we did search for everything. So, he's not really looking too good right now. So, we need to go interview him and see what he knows. I searched around for absolutely no reason. I'm actually retarded. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Yeah. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Yeah. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. But what motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession to charge the bomb with murder. I mean, that makes sense, but why kill her? It can't, is it just out of just cold blood? That just seems a bit weird, don't you think? Basing it off of like some sort of like, oh, Central Police Station, 1.57 p.m. It's been 20 minutes. Maybe because I kept fumbling around in the shack. Going this way. What, the, what way? Oh, oh, all right, fuck me. You already know where you're going. All right, I'll follow you. Oh, <laughs> is it in this one? Hello. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? I saw the picture, you moron. Big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Well, we were both in the war. You gotta have some sort of relatability for it. Jeez. It's not my fault, fuck me. Alright, would you, why'd you do it? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. That's a lie. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrellson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. I, I do, actually. There's a blood stain. You didn't even bother to hide it. We found a matching fuck piece you. of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? You can't. It's your shack. It's what you stepped out of. Never mind. The bus driver dropped. <laughs> Never mind. Near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. I don't even know what to say anymore. You're lying, Ackerman. There must be a reason. You could have killed her in the camp. My reasons are my own. Can you disprove what I say? Uh, boot prints. Well, those aren't him. Those aren't. Those aren't him. Those are. Those aren't his boots. Those are. Uh, what the fuck is his name again? Lars. Those are Lars's boots. I mean, there's boot prints. There's boot prints. You do Shit. First. You're the willing tool of a despotic state designed to victimize the unfortunate. I mean, but that doesn't mean that they're his, though. That doesn't mean that they're his footprints. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrellson. Oh, okay. Well, that happened. Who's this guy? <laughs> he looks so upset. We didn't do too bad on that one. Come on. That one could have gone a little bit worse, but we did all right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with that. I can abide, but a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. I cannot stomach. Maybe poor Theresa Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. I'm sorry. And they that will be gentlemen. And the grand results you have brought me. Really? You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Yay. Yay! I did good, ma. Look at me. 
How'd we do? 13 out of 17? Ooh. Well, that's not too bad. We did okay. Everyone just counts. Even the cabbie who was among the last to see Teresa Tarleton alive. I mean, we never got anything for the cabbie, though. Maybe we could have waited. I don't know. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't think we got the word. Oh, no. Hello? Bobby Lashley? <laughs> That's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice. I'm done. I'm not. Oh, he's so nice to them. Oh, and they're so nice to him because he's not mean to them. I love that so much, yo. Mutual respect, man. That's all I ask for. Okay, now I- okay, this might actually be copyrighted music, but I'm not 100% sure YouTube's probably gonna get really mad at me. So I don't actually know anymore. Oh, dearie me. I mean, I mean, hold on a minute. We don't really know if they don't enjoy it. That actually warmed my heart. They were- they smiled and everything. They were so happy to see him. Oh, boy. As opposed to fucking- what was his name? Roy? Roy being an asshole? The studio secretary murder! Wait, what? Was that just a scene that we that we saw? He just walked in and just sat down. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Sweetheart, please be careful. Oh, okay. Why is it all these drunk girls? Who's this guy? All right, but at least we get a better look at his face, though. Of She's not naked, is she? She better not be naked. I'm gonna be so angry. Keep a hold of your hut, counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller, Muller case, case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. All right, boys, let's go. <laughs> let's go find this woman dead on our rail track. Body and dear Mother's ring. The emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly. Did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Mm -hmm. Going to church doesn't Except make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage the makes you a car. <laughs> I, don't, I just... Sometimes, boys, sometimes I just stay perfectly quiet to take in all of the nonsense that happens when you don't speak sometimes during a video game. And that was one of those times. Can you go to this one? Okay, let's Where go to the pawnbroker. Globe and loan and jewelry source of evidence tip off. Of what? Deirdre Muller's ring? I don't know what's going on. Why are we going to the pawn shop about the Deirdre Muller case? That was a stupid question I asked. I'm sorry. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators, Cole. Hugo Muller was identified by the school's ground crew. He's our guy. Oh, yeah. Geez, that case was a while ago. He ran for God's sake. That's true. He always maintained he was set up. Okay. I might have to like look back at some of these because my memory is awful. Pawn broker, 10 19 a.m. It's actually a relatively nice day outside this time. All right, so let's go inside here. Who pawns off it? Well, you boys. Uh, we're here. Detectives for Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Okay, a wedding and engagement ring. Oh. I don't know why. I looked at his pants. I was wondering. What's this mark? Here? Holy fuck. Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Okay. Thanks for the tip. And what about this one? Where'd we be in? Is this mark? 22 carat. Hallmark. 
gives you an idea of the quality. How does he see that? All right, so we're done. I assume. Got on the guy who brought these in. He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address, 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremen. Like your mom's? Oh, that was uncalled for. I apologize. I'm going to leave now. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Don't kill me. You drive. All right. Now we're going to the rail yard. Okay. Fine. Where are we headed? So we don't necessarily have a description on the guy who pawned off the two rings. Hold on, my brain is working. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Blair County address. Yeah. The address is bogus. He's <gasps> having fun with us. He the lied. The Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bish Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letters. All your letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Mullins. And how do we prove that? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Oh, boys. I think I actually was about to be right, because I was like, maybe the guy who pawned the rings is the same guy who murdered her. Uh, who murdered her. Which is why he had them. Because remember, he took the rings off of her. Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under a hat. I forgot he was still driving. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. Like it. So what, we're keeping this information to ourselves? This doesn't seem like the best idea. Rail Riyadh, 11.01 a.m. It's been... 45 minutes? She's not naked, is she? All right, good. She's not naked. Hard is. Well, she... Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? Hi, hard. The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called now. then. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Can we talk to them? Sir? Detective Phelps and Galloway. Homicide. Tell me exactly what happened. We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman oh, wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. See, no reason to lie. You have a wonderful day, sir. That wasn't so hard. Makes the cases so much easier. What the hell's happening here? Hello. Handbag. Okay. What's in here? What we got, boys? What we got? What's in here? What it was? Uh, 2122 St. David Street, 11 Bridgeport, Connecticut. Dear Evelyn, I hope that this letter finds you in a better way than when we last parted. Bitter... Were exchanged, oh, bitter words were exchanged. You had taken too much liquor, and we both know what that makes you become. But I am not writing to harness and accuse. Oh, to harass and accuse. Fuck me. I am writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl and what she is doing to herself. You're okay. This is our mother. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn. And it's and it is harder for me to watch than you can imagine. But only God Almighty above, only above us has has the right to judge and so I beg your forgiveness. I've been in contact with a uh, sanitarium. Dun, 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 dun. Leave me be. Okay. Uh, here in Connecticut on your behalf. That was a Metallica reference. <laughs> they say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and it can be treated. You only need to check yourself in. I, it will not. Okay, that's all we got. Hello, TDs. The Keystone Film Company, Evelyn Summers, October 31st, 1941. Keystone Studio Lot closed back in 41. Ah, uh, look, see? It closed in 41, and that was when it was good until. So not only is it expired, but now it's over. What's these? She was at a bar, obviously. Makes sense. I gotta, I gotta look. Maybe someone at Menchus will remember her. 
Menchus Bar, corner 9th and Main. Convenient that they're all written on the inside of them. Evelyn Summers. Shit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Two large suitcase, small suitcase, bedroll pillow, plain bed sheet, three photo frames, a paint, a hairbrush, a bowling, a bowling pin, a statuette, makeup and clothes. Okay. Jesus Christ, our entire face is bloody. Okay, at least she, oh, jeez, Louise, look at her. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Okay. Vagrancy. She was already smelling of alcohol. Ring got taken off of her again. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. Aha! Uh -huh. state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Again, it all happens around 2 a.m. when all the rings get taken. So he takes the rings off of them and pawns them off. So this isn't necessarily a motive. This fucker is just mean and just wants to get rich off of this whole sick nonsense. All right. Can I talk to him? What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Oh, uh, gee, again? You have the time of death. From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Okay. Strangulation again, but this time it wasn't as bad as the other ones where they strangled them with rope. We have no trouble. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Yeah, we never really catch these guys in the act. But then again, we can never really predict when this is going to happen, are we? Can I talk to him? No. Who was the dude standing over the body? Okay. Now let's go back to the phone. <laughs> Cole's like, run away from the spooky music! Okay. Hello? Operator? Help me. I'm stranded out here. Hi, Rusty. How are you? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Ow! Thanks, ma'am. Okay, investigate Levine's Liquor Store. Possibly where the woman bought her liquor so that she could get intoxicated. You, know you can drive. Why? Oh, we're not done with the crime scene. We're not done with the crime scene. Why exactly she decided to walk next to a fucking rail yard, I'll never know. Hey, what's this? Jesus Christ, okay. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Yeah. So, okay. He must have been standing over here then, right? And then he, he hit her, like, over there. Because that was when the train was passing. Oh, I don't know how any of this happened. <laughs> I mean, either, everything did go black, so. Am I? Okay, I figured. I was, are you, were you the one? LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you. you to answer some questions, John. You were the man. Don't mind. I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. Yeah. I was kissing her. Why? It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. The lipstick. Has it been used? It, yeah, it's been used. Is that it? Are we... nothing? Okay. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! So you put Don't it on her? It. Fuck me! Why'd you do that? You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I 
took a look. Ferdinand, what is wrong with you? You are a fucking weirdo. <laughs> look at his face like I know exactly what I did and I'm proud of him. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. That's not true. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can I'll say, can I get more intuition, please? Found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Well, stop doing it then. Why? You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with them later. Sure, Rusty. What's wrong with these people? I hope we have no trouble. Okay, I'm leaving. I don't know, I don't understand what's wrong with this guy, man, honestly. You know what's worse? There's people out there that will actually you do drive. that stuff, too. Jeez to Louise. To We're going to Mensch's bar. Fine. Where are we headed? We're going to the bar visited by the murder victim and see if they, seeing if they know anything. <laughs> We're getting a lot of the same cases, boys. You read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. These people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. True. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately... Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Fair enough. There's only so much you can do if you don't have the energy to do it, my friend. And that counts for a lot of things. Okay. Manchester Bar, 11.27 a.m. It's been... Him? I can't remember. I'm losing track of everything because I'm, I'm trying to like wrap my head around all of this really tightly so that I don't forget. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. Indeed. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Stunk. That's a word I'm gonna start using. These guys. Ask around. What's you, your sir. Name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some That's questions? That's a nice name, Mr. Grosvenor. McCaffrey? I'm just a Grosvenor. starving writer detective. What's it? Grosvenor? What do you want to ask about? <laughs> Evelyn Grosvenor? Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Why are you okay. yelling? I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Look at this guy's fucking smug. Let's be... Hold on. Let's not ignore the fact that he had to draw that out. So... Okay. Did you see that <laughs> okay. last night? No. I was at home. Writing. Well, I have to doubt that, because that is not even true. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. They How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at... Plebeian? Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place. Corner of Ninth and Grand. Okay. Like a cops bowl there on Tuesday night. Cool. What a nice place. We should go there sometime, Rusty. No? Okay. Criminal history. You have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey. Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me? Some time? <laughs> like I don't. Immediately, when you can tell that they're lying, all you have to do is doubt them, because I can't say that they're lying. I have nothing to go off of. That kind of thing. A regular oh, you're just columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank all right. you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Oh, I thought I knew this song. Okay, so now we go 
Can you drive this one? Oh, Where fuck, we're not done. Going? We have to talk to him. Or is there anyone else in the bar that we need to talk to? Because he was the only one that I saw. Did we talk to him? You're free to speak to the regulars. Oh, him. Just don't shake them too hard. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have Will it. you quit Answer being so course. goddamn... Evelyn... <laughs> you don't have any. Drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody fucking asking you to be all goddamn crotchety towards me, you fucking crusty bastard. You're behind the wheel. We're still not done with Mensch's bar, right. goddamn it. Where are we headed? Nowhere. Hold on, we have to go back in here now, Jesus. Uh, no. In there, no. Out here, hello. Anything in the trash? Hold on. I'm waiting for like the detective thing to turn on, but I guess nothing's going on. Okay, yeah, he's running full speed, which means there's nothing out here. What was the point then? We already talked to him. Can, do, I, do we talk to him again? The regulars might have something else to tell you, but I don't. Okay, what about you? One more time, pal, and I'll break your fucking jaw. What the fuck did you just say to me? You old fucking useless bag looking pizza shot. I swear to God, I'll throw you through this goddamn window. You ever say shit like that to me again? Listen to me. Listen, pal. I mean, I've got nothing left to say to him. At the moment, all I want to do is talk to the bottom of my glass. Can you stop being creepy, please? Hmm. Is there something out here? No, nothing in here? It says we're not done with Mensch's bar, yo. I don't know what that means. Could we go upstairs? Is there an upstairs? Cause I thought that was behind... Yeah, that's behind his counter. I can't go up there. Apparently... No, I can't, okay. What, what the bloody hell do I do? Nothing? Uh... Help. You're free to speak to the regulars. Just don't shake them too hard. Are there any other regulars in here? This is a pretty small bar. Alright, forget it. This is, there's nothing. There's nothing. We're done. We're leaving. I'm out of here. You can drive. Let's go. We're going Where to the liquor store. Are we going? We're going to the liquor store. We gotta do everything in order. We can't just jump back and forth between everything. So let's go to the liquor store and see what they know there. What did you make of McCaffrey? He'll come a day. He's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. I meant there's a suspect. Oh, okay. I was expecting a little bit more to go off of that, but I guess not. Levine's liquor store, 11.44 a.m. It's been about 15 minutes at the most. No, it's not. Yes, it has. No, it's not. It's been at least like maybe 10, 11 minutes. I can't remember. Liquor store, how are you? What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder drop that. of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn yes, Christopher Reeves. Robin. Yes, I knew That's I not Christopher Reeves. I meant to say I Superman, but now that I'm looking at his face up close, he does not she look like Superman. Stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. He said, please. And you seem to be too old to be running. Wait, it'd be being. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Ooh. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She she had her own little like cubby back here. Okay, that must have been her mom and her, okay. Hey, she was so young, poor lady. Hello. She wasn't always such a loner. Word, she had a couple friends hanging out with her. I can't r I cannot tell which one she is. But yeah. Everyone was reading Aristotle, Aristotle Metaphysics. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. 
Isn't that the saddest thing? And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Hey, that's the guy that we were talking to. <laughs> like I would put the pieces together like a fucking fourth grader. What's this? What's that these? What exactly did Evelyn work in the picture? He's still in films, 1938. She worked in legal copyrights for music. How'd you hear that? I said that under my breath. Alright. What about Guessing these one? Evelyn Summers. Evelyn Summers. job for quite some time before she was killed. No, okay. I was expecting something else to go off for that. And the bowling ball, or the bowling pin. I'm assuming from, yep. Yeah, see, I'm a smart cookie. Bowling's bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Maybe she was a pretty nice bowler. Okay, we ask about her there. Simple dimple. Back to our car. Where did everyone go? How were you talking when you were all the way down here? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we, okay. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? Had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Mm. Are you lying to me, sir? Okay. You really gotta study them, yo, I swear. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. Could it have been McCaffrey? She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Okay. Relationship. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? Ooh. Probably one of the few. Aww. Hold on. He's telling the. Hold on. I got the impression oh, thank that fuck. Had been sleeping well. I thought I got that wrong. It became difficult for me to have her stay. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Fair enough. Knowledge of McCaffrey? You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Now that's a lie. But he's... Ah! We're struggling for Ha-ha! Did she know McCaffrey? <laughs> She idolized him. Aha! That's why she has this book. But I gather the feeling was far from mutual. Oh. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. Oh, jeez, we got another one of these fuckers. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Rob. Boom, boys, because we're the greatest. Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Don't worry, my I friend. Never hurt anybody. Don't worry, we'll get him. Never had anybody say that to me before. Now I'm hell bent. Now I'm hell bent, boys. I'll make sure that that perpetrator's brought in, and the fierce fist of justice goes straight up to Pooper. We're still not done with Mench's Bye. bar. Let's go to the bowling alley. We can talk about uh, what's going on there. Don't die, Rusty. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Car 11K, car 11K, KGPL. Hello. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. Oh, fuck. 11 King, enter out. All right, then. Let's not keep the man waiting, no. Let's go. I wonder what that means. I wonder what's happening. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Central Police Station, 11.56 a.m. It's been 10 minutes. See, that time I knew. I hope we're not in trouble. It's like going into the fucking principal's office. Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. And Carruthers? Jesus, boys. Oh, hey, is this about the Black Dahlia case again? You know that? That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. I'm so confused. Who was ye Who were you yelling at? I'm so lost right now. Mm -hmm. 
All right, boys. What do we got? What you got? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. Yeah, yes, sir. solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. That's Bobby true. Cats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Yeah. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. That's true. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. True. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it oh. say? You sure you want to know, Ray? Tell me. As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? BD. Cunt is all about access, Stones. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Oh. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. Okay. And follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Okay. Boys. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address from McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. That's the cop from the newspapers. Oh boy, boys, boys, boys! This it's Black Dahlia kind of case. It's uh, it, it's it's ooh. I mean, we're getting like real deep into it. You know what I mean? Oh, hello. Sorry, I almost ran into you there. Operator, give me dispatch. I'll say hello. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Who is this woman, by the way? Can we do a case on her? <laughs> Can you imagine if she was a black dahlia? That's not funny because it's actually real, but you know. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks for your help. No, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Let's go do it. I was going to end the episode, but I'm not going to do it. I want to go. Like, I want to confront this guy. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Let's go to his apartment. We're not done with the police station. What do you mean? Why are we not done with the police station yet? question. Okay. What's got to do with morals? Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends on what. On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slam ever found out. <laughs> it's all about being honest and making sure all of your, like, uh, the, you know, your your clues add up to the person you're accusing. McCaffrey's apartment, 4.29 p.m. It's, what, been like fucking three hours? Jesus. All right. Oh, shite. What was it again? I can't remember. I can never say that correctly. Okay. 126 Yellow Street. Never mind. I don't think we ever got a thing. But I guess we can look, can't we? Was there a 6 at some point? I could have sworn I heard an apart apartment 6. They'll tell us. I have a feeling that when I go up here, there's going to be a light shining on a shiny-ass golden door. I can feel it. Yep. <laughs> I was right. Apartment 6. See, I was right. McCaffrey. McCaffrey, if you like fight us. Home. Sir, okay. <laughs> Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? Do we have, like, the authority to do this? All right, obviously wouldn't be out in this living room. Smart guy like him. Okay, never mind. Oh, right. I was going to say be in his bedroom, but uh, th th here it is. He's got a loft. I wouldn't like having a loft, man, honestly. Having a loft would creep me out. Rusty was literally looking at this, and there was nothing here. Mm. don't think this is any use to us. He's got some clothes strewn about, but that's about it. We don't really have... Hey! Oh! Oh, McCaffrey. McCaffrey. 
It's not looking good. <gasps> he said he it. He said he didn't know her. And we had. I see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. I can't believe it. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. I was about to say, you hold on to me, I swear to God. Drunk and in command of a carrier. Move, woman! We've got a pigeon coop to find! He said it was down the hall and up the stairs. Oh. Is it is it out this window? No. Is it in here? Is it is it here? None of these seem to be lit up. I'm confused. Oh, up the stairs. Okay. You went up these stairs. I don't know why hi, how the newspapers. Hey, it's you! <laughs> Never mind. You know what? That's rude. Because he's actually a nice guy, and I'm not going to be mean to him. Because I fucking love him. So you know what? I'm going to leave it alone. Hey, he really is up here. I thought he'd be at the bowling alley. Fucking who just grabs a pigeon like that? Jesus. What is wrong with you? Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk. I'm so good. I didn't even know he went that way. <laughs> he threw the pigeon as if Cole was gonna look at him and go, eh, eh, flying bird! Eh, who would have thought? Like, I don't understand. Honestly, let's be honest with you. Okay, if that were me, I probably would have thrown the pigeon too. Because but I would have had maybe like a different outlook. I probably would have been like, maybe if I throw the pigeon, it will fly into their face. Or the pigeon will realize that uh I did something wrong and it's gonna try and help me because I've helped him for like the last few months, but Judging by the way he threw it, he was like, nah, son, I ain't trying to get caught. Pigeon, protect me. <laughs> the pigeon was like, the fuck are you doing? I'm out of here. So. I do not need a fucking peanut gallery in the middle of a chase. Will you shut your mouth? Oh, can I pull the gun out on him? Because I'm pretty sure he's... Pretty sure he's going to run. No, I can't. <laughs> Just stop. Oh, you're slowing down. You're slowing down. You yeah, better hope I don't catch up to you, because when I get you, I swear to God. Ah! Uh, McCaffrey. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Oh god, I'm stuck in the ground. Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> so I'm stuck in the- Are you alright? Do you need help? Okay. Fuck, we're not done? Now what? You know the way. You can drive. Okay, let's go to the bowling alley. Where are we headed? Come on, show bowling lanes! Away! Jeez Louise, what a difficult situation I have put myself in. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'd answered myself there, I'm conf- help. <laughs> Who parks in the middle of the street? Bowling alley, uh, what's it? Rawlings Bowling Alley, 7, 10 p.m. It's been, what, like four hours? Cause that whole situation? What a nice bowling alley. Can we bowl here? Hello, Holy moly. Is that the guy from... I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. Is that the guy from Nancy Classified? The guy who talks really fast. Ah, uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be... Hopping around the lanes toward the back. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. <laughs> well, I can't get over there, so. Hooray! Wait, where do we go? How do we get back there? Oh, we have to go this way. Never mind. Uh, wow, what a nice shiny floor. I hope I don't slip. Tiernan! LAPD! You. Get back here, you sack of garbage! Oh, come on! There. I thought Cole's just like, holy moly? 
I like how do we get do we have the keys? Are we just gonna hotwire the car? For? Get after him. This is a we nice car. Faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Ha ha ha. I mean let's yeah. flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn. Or a middle aged individual with a need to feel pure. Oh, because it could have been him. Try to bust his tires. We are got a run. At least we've got the suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Hiya! All right, he did. The road, God damn it. It's not my fault. He's getting away. I don't even know this what he's doing. This is a killer. We can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's why he's in the wall. He saves us all the trouble. Belts, you gotta oh. get me closer. Cause he, okay, cause he, he would die. That's not nice, though. Don't turn. Thank you. He's going through the square. I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. Come on, you bastard. Jesus. What if they run? Someone's setting them up. Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. Ah. I mean, isn't that what the whole thing was in the last case? Is that one dude ran because he thought he knew he was getting set up? Oh my god, now he's going down. Looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill this. I'm okay with it. Uh oh. Okay, I forgot. It's a trolley. It's not an actual train. He'll slow down. Hands behind your head. I don't know how I got to the other side, but okay. What the? <laughs> I'm as confused as you are. But how do they know they're getting set up? Is my question. Surely, if this was a thing that just came out of the blue, you would be questioning everything. Like, what's going on? Why are the guns pointed at me? Why are the cops here? Wrap this thing up. It's gotta we really? It's got. Tearing and set him up. Don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Oh no! Now, do you think that's why he ran? Because he out. set him up. How do you know the Nobody said. We have a list of over 200 suspects. 200. Was never on it. He was never on it. That's a lot of people to be questioning for the Black Dahlia. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My brain is working, okay? My brain is working. What if uh, Tierman, right, set him up? What if all this time it's been somebody... <gasps> what if it's been somebody setting up all these people this whole time? And that's why all of the people who got their wives murdered were so confused and everything. And what if it all just led up to one just big giant coincidence as to why their wives were murdered and everything, which is why all of the husbands got put away. Which makes a lot of sense because a lot of these cases seem to fall into the same category of the wife was murdered, the, the, the place was ransacked, the husband has no idea what's going on, people have been running away, it's all been just one big giant miasma of haha I did it and I'm gonna pretend that somebody else did it and I'm gonna put the evidence in their house which maybe ex which might explain why all the evidence is out in the open instead of the evidence being like you know hidden in a secret place because maybe the Black Dahlia is trying to get all these people put in jail for a specific reason so that he could get so there's so that he could get caught less I guess I don't know that's what my brain's feeding me right now like maybe he's throwing all these people at us to confuse us you know but at the same time the more people that he's catching he's <laughs> actually pacing in the game he, all these people that he's catching he's putting them like in jail so it's sort of shrinking it a little bit but even what after what Rusty just said we still have 200 suspects that are like that are possible Black Dahlia uh, 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 suspects you know what I mean so even if we book all these people we still have a massive well, sorry we still have a massive amount of people to go through to even consider who the Black Dahlia might be so even at the end of the day when we feel like we're one step closer we're still two steps back Jesus, boys! My brain's about to like explode because I just figured all that out. We're going to the Where Central exactly Police Station, we and we're gonna talk to McCaffrey to see if there's to, to I don't know. But why do it though? That's what confuses me. Oh, but then again, it might be what Rusty said. Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later date. 
I'll hold they really need to that. put those signs up more often. Keep LA safe, drive safely. They need to just string those up everywhere. But even with Resident Evil, it's copycats. They're seeing the Black Dahlia murder go on on the news, and and they're seeing all these cases pop up. Not like because they're cops. Central Police Station, 7:37 p.m. But maybe they're seeing all these women get murdered, and they're looking at their like unhappy lives and stuff, and they're going, "All right, I'm gonna murder this guy." Don't tell me I'm these sure are the you gods of the. Sure, could make it stick for one of these suspects, Jim. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is the one. I literally just made up for all the nonsense that I've been going on about for the last hour with that fucking rant. <laughs> okay. Interview room, duty center, patrol room. Where are we going? It's in there. It's not in there. Him! Him! McCaffrey! McCaffrey! Oh, McCaffrey! You ready to answer some questions? Do you you fucking better be, sir. People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. Relationship with the victim. You told us. Okay, you there's only two. Which is weird. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. That's a lie. You have to do better than that, Grovner. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. We know that you and you didn't like Evelyn, but Baker, see if about show signs of vagrant lifestyle, okay. No, we allowed him to play upper half of torn letter. Found something like defensive. Really? We don't have anything. Okay, then all we can do. We're off the hook. For now. All we can do is doubt him then. Doesn't look Are you serious? It's either you or Tiernan from where we're sitting. Personally, I think Evelyn is better off. But I had nothing to do with it. Okay, alright, boys. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Okay, I doubt him then. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to go off of that lie. You're gonna need to do better what if you don't want to swing. Fuck? I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. Oh, I have to restart. I'd have to restart. Party members. Good. It's your funeral. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Oh, I'd have to restart. I'd have to restart this whole thing in order to do that. Wait, can I restart from checkpoint? Don't restart the case. Your overall progress will be retained, but the current investigation will be restarted. Like this current investigation? Ah. Uh, again. Okay, I'm back. Uh, had to do that entire case all over again, but this time you I'm gonna to do my best questions. not to get this wrong. You think I have all the answers? That took a long time. Well, it didn't take that long. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Let's see where this takes us. Skipping cutscenes and not really dwelling on too much of the stuff. All right, relationship with the victim. He's lying because she bought the alcohol bottle for him. I had very little to do with her. She's he's lying. You have to do better than that, Grovner. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. I can link her to you. Because of the liquor purchase. Store on a rabbit sets by his victim bought whiskey for a boy after an argument. Seems there's a Are serious you fine shit? Think okay. You know what you actually do, detective. All right, one out of two. I can get one out of two. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Okay. So then I'll use my intuition, because I got that, apparently. Then he's lying. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Really? Nothing? Using intuition will limit all items you've not have sufficient evidence allowing you to back out of the accusation. I don't have enough evidence? Sorry. I'm 
Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Then I can't, I can't do anything then! And you have someone who can corroborate your story. Unfortunately, no. What? It's going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. So far, I've gotten this wrong on both occasions. The party has good lawyers. I'm thinking of moving up. To and then, five. uh, I, uh, I go over I here. In there and find the goddamn evidence. And I can't. Wait, it's four different people. None of them are these guys. Wait, is he in the other room? Interview room one. Yeah, this is interview room. Okay. Is he in the other goddamn room? He is. I walked Why around that entire know? thing for no reason. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. All right. Religion. Okay, so he's got more. Hold on a minute. So, it, oh, hold on, hold on. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? <gasps> I barely knew Evelyn. Was it him? Oh, we got the people. I got the people mixed up. Was it him? Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged. and Because it wasn't true. Before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Was it him? This what is so hard to fuck? A man and a woman getting along, liking each other, just as friends. So and neither of them. So who the fuck did she buy the, the alcohol for? Then are you kidding me? The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. What? But then who did she buy the book for? It for if it was for none of them. Like oh, boys, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Yeah, he's full of the common man routine, but he props up a bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. Yeah, That's the fucking thing that keeps happening, yo. I swear. Okay, all right. Two you out of four. Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. I've got nothing left to do but doubt. You don't give me some reason oh. to think differently about this, Tiernan. I'm going to have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. So is that the thing when he bought Is that when he bought it? Do you own a car, Tiernan? Uh. No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Oh, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Uh... I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that. And there's no you way you could You did. There was a tire iron in his house. Liquor purchase. The owner Robbins testifies victim bought whiskey for a boy after an argument. After an argument. <sighs> okay, so maybe I had the right proof. I just used it at the wrong time. I almost hit the wrong thing. As hard as this is for you to contemplate, <laughs> I really loved Evelyn. What? She was so then who? Kind, so then it had to have been his tire iron then. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. It's what strange. the fuck? She always wore it. So who did she buy the liquor? Oh, she had to have bought the liquor for him. Disc with a white e in the middle. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> so I'm so pissed. She had to have bought the liquor for him, and McCaffrey was the one who had to have had the fucking tire iron. McCaffrey, you're lying to us. Operator, give me R and I'm so upset. Putting you through now. I'm so upset. Phelps bed, 1247. It's gonna, it's, and God only knows how long it's gonna be before I, mean, I fill my computer with <laughs> fucking space again. Just a moment, detective. What jacket? Okay. There. So we've got that. Thanks, ma'am. McCaffrey's criminal record. 
McCaffrey, you sack of fucking you piece. Damn, I hate McCaffrey. Or yeah, that's your name. Military service. You were in the war. Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You have been in trouble for violence. You're lying. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Because we have your criminal record after what the lady just said. We know all about That's the you only fucking thing I managed to get right. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore. She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. <gasps> and she got what was coming to her! Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. You're charged, you Go piece of shit! I'm charging You're you going to jail! Fuck Summers. you! She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. Suck on my you goddamn two-inch chode, you fucking liar! You're going to fucking you're going to yell at me. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Okay, but we Another got it. Red to boot. Grab. Fuck you. Eat my goddamn you asshole. Put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. She stole his book. He killed her for it. So the tire iron was his. But that doesn't explain who she bought the book for. Was it for him? Oh, I don't care about anything. I fucking I got him. You're in trouble. Fuck, eat my ass. Eat my entire asshole. Yo. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm done. I'm going to bed. I don't even care that I got 8 out of 14 fucking crush. Fuck me. That took me 2 hours. Oh my god. We have lost most of Shavati and Dunn's squad. The Gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, the try for the Nambus. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Nambus and Infilate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. Shit, Lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by four. The river. My orders are to reconnoiter the. Oh, shit. I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out. Oh dear. So the heat of the war is starting to get the coal. And well, I mean, making decisions like the. I mean, you gotta be like, you know, the quarter moon murders. I'm so upset, yo. The fact that I actually managed to get that. I'm so. I saved that somehow. I saved that. Jesus Christ. Did well with the summer's case. But we have a problem. Oh no. The new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Is it from the say is it from the Black Dahlia dude? <gasps> that right means ahead. it wasn't him. Well, duh. Well, what the fuck? Why would I assume it was him? Like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. Look. Find the goddamn evidence. Cunt BD, find me where I hid myself. No? Okay. Oh boy. Looking in wonder up to heaven while Another yet the music the peeled along. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square where I lay like the reflex of the moon seen in a wave under green leaves. So do we go to the public square? Oh, do I do, I do this? Oh my god, y'all. Hey, look! Of what the dude was talking about. Oh, fuck me. Oh, suffer woes, which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Oh, to the five, I thought it was going to keep going. To the five power, which seems omnipotent, to love and bear, to hope, 
till hope recreates from its own wreck the thing it contemplates neither to change nor falter nor repent this like the go like the glor like thy glory titan is to be good great and good great and joyous beautiful and free this is this is alone this is alone life joy empire and victory readings hard i'm still like fucking reeling the note is from the dahlia maniac he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrells and murder, not to mention the Moloch. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. Mm -hmm. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. That's true. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Meaning that we've been bagging all these people. Ah, oh, fuck it. I knew this run was too good to be true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It Where to... are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. Yeah. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. Yeah. That's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The Shut the fuck up, Rusty. Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Oh, we're stepping into the real deep part of this pool, boys. We're stepping into the real deep part of this pool. I fucking saved it, boys. The fucking up and down roller coasters that I've been riding on for the last like four weeks is over. On that note, I'm gonna end this episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I certainly enjoyed making it. If you want to catch more content like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.